He is too. He went to UVM. And I, oh, Jody is going to get, Jody, you are getting blocked immediately. Goodbye, my friend. He, the, the guy I just blocked, by the way, has been, has been acting like a raging lunatic on Twitter all day. I know exactly who he is. So that's why he got blocked. So I'm not, I'm not putting up with that. <laughs> my friends, it has happened. Carlin Borisenko, Libertarian Party candidate for governor of New Hampshire, has blocked me on Twitter. Why did Carlin block me on Twitter? Because, in her own words, quote, That guy is crazy. That guy is nuts. Because what I did was block Carlin on Twitter so she couldn't see anything I said directly, then replied to each of her tweets with something clapping back at her, so that she couldn't see it, but everyone else could see it, and people who don't like the way she's behaving could unify behind it. The problem is that Carlin is a bit psycho. And by a bit psycho, I mean she just spent the past two days going after a guy who goes by Styx Hexenhammer 666, and ignore the TikTok thing, on YouTube and other platforms, Twitter. She's just been in a fight with this guy for a couple of days. And that kind of culminated in her um, not being able to let anything go, uh, writing a very long and extremely boring and annoying article on her substack that she calls a case study for Art of the Triggering, this stupid fucking project that she's come up with that I don't really know exactly what she's trying to do. Um, she wrote up this case study article about Styx Hexenhammer trying to explain in great detail why she definitely triggered him intentionally. And it wasn't just that she's the triggered one, no. It's that Styx was triggered, and she totally laid a trap by saying, I'm going to trigger you. And then, when she acts like a dickhead on the internet, and people call her out for being a dickhead, she goes, look, you're triggered. It worked. My trap worked. Your audience is toxic and cancerous. Because your audience said that me being a dickhead was me being a dickhead. My god, I might be held to account by someone else on the internet? Pfft, what losers. And this is the person who wants to be the governor of New Hampshire. This person seriously thinks they can have the most powerful position in a state in the United States. So, her game was... I'm going to latch onto this one person, and I actually did some digging. She's done this to several people that are more prominent than she is. She is definitely a clout chaser. And I have an actual edited video that I've started to uh, clarify all of this, to give you a little more detail in a more yeah, pretty format, let's just say. It's actually on the camera I'm filming on now. <clears throat> but Carlin's game was that she was triggering other people and that her little project is how to trigger your enemies while not getting triggered yourself. But Carlin Borisenko is quite possibly the most sensitive person on earth. She is more sensitive than Taylor Swift being told that she dates too many men back in the 2000s. And I should have muted my phone. <sighs> Sorry for that distraction. Carlin Borisenko is extremely sensitive to the point that you can say anything disagreeing with her and she will go ballistic. She has to speak in very drawn out, carefully metered, horribly boring to wait on ways like this in a condescending, smug tone because if she doesn't speak like this, I can't keep doing that. If she doesn't talk like that in her stupid live streams that last for way too long and would be a lot shorter if she'd stop repeating herself and drawing everything out, she has to do that because you do that when you're a crazy person who's trying not to seem crazy and your brain is full of fuck. And you're trying to sift through the fuck to find the right thing to say so that the public doesn't get an actual handle on what you really are. Carlin Borisenko is cuckoo because you can go to, actually you can go to her latest live stream as of today. Uh, today is <clears throat> the 20th. So she did a stream yesterday on October 19th, 2022. For three hours she talked about Sticks, Hex, and Hammer. Now she totally triggered him. Oh my God, dude. 
uh, taking everything that he said very in the worst possible light. Um, it took her three hours to go through an article and a video. Like, seriously, a 10-minute video and her shitty article, and it took three hours for her to explain her positions on that. Because she repeats herself like some kind of insane person running around saying, I'm not the one who's insane, they are all insane. And she won't stop talking in this slow-metered manner. But, at the beginning of the stream, I said in the chat, Thanks for the stream. And because I had talked to her on Twitter earlier that day and been one of her detractors, she goes, oh, oh, Jody, oh, yeah, he's getting, he's getting blocked immediately. Yeah, that guy, uh-huh. All I did was say thanks for the stream. I wasn't going to say anything else, but I had a feeling that that was what she was going to do. I didn't say anything mean, rude, condescending, nope. Got blocked. And you know what? That's exactly what I was going for. She really did the worst possible thing. After me... Anybody who said anything that remotely detracted from her without being deferring and excessively respectful, like to the point that it's like, gee, I don't know, maybe it might have not been the greatest idea for you to do that, but I mean, I guess I can see your point too, so if you're not conciliatory enough at the throne of Carlin Boring Senko, I mean, Karen Boring, I mean, Carlin Boring Senko, then guess what happens to you? You're banned. You're banned from the chat. You're banned from the comments. I watched in real time as she nuked everybody that disagreed with her, including the slightest of disagreements. This woman is building a filter bubble around her. She is the most social justice warrior person that I've seen in a long time. A lot of the woke scolds, woke tards, SJWs, they all kind of simmered down a little bit. Like, they're still out there. There's still plenty of dumb people saying dumb things. But she combines it with this obsessive, psychotic, just insane nature that I really can't understand how somebody's that fucking insane. And the problem is that when she latches onto a person, she becomes abusive. She does not let go until she feels like she's basically internet raped the person into the ground. That is her tactic. Latch on, punch, 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 declare yourself the victor even though everybody can see your cuckoo, and bail. I actually looked at her social blade figures earlier. When I first found her, and she seemed reasonable back in 2020, she got 28k subs in a month, but then recently over the past year, actually more like the past six months, um, I think the oldest was February, so eight months, <clears throat> over the past eight months or so, she has cycled between gaining like two or three thousand subscribers, and in one case, one month she lost 4,000 subscribers. So she's pretty much alienating anyone just as quickly as she can get them because she's toxic as fuck, dude. Holy shit, this woman is toxic. She is mean, she is nasty, but she hides it under this veneer of sanity, this veneer of being liberty-oriented. You, you really have to watch it to appreciate it, but the problem is she's so goddamn slow and boring and repetitive that she'll spend three hours on something that would take 20 or 30 minutes, an hour if you're bantering with your audience. And it's I, I watched her stream. I did a stream reacting to her stream, and I thought I was going to fucking die. It was so bad. Is There was no entertainment value. There was no informational value. She didn't say anything of value. All she did was jerk herself off. All she did was go, Carlin Borsenko's great, and Styx is bad, and his audience is bad, and I'm going to curate my audience because I, I want a sophisticated, high-end, excellent, brilliant, smart audience. I don't want people like Jody who might disagree with me. If you support Carlin Borisenko and you're watching this video, fucking stop. What is wrong with you? If you don't know who she is or don't support her or whatever, you're doing the right thing. Just, just leave it alone. But she has no business running an entire state. She can't maintain her composure in the face of someone saying, you know, maybe you shouldn't do this. She's not mature enough to run an entire state. And the most embarrassing part is this woman apparently is older than I am. How the fuck do you get past age 40? I'm not even 40. But how the fuck do you get past age 40 and not have at least the maturity to be like, okay, someone disagreed with me. Whatever. I don't care. It's fine. They can disagree. 
I mean, at, at worst, you just don't take the input and let it roll off your back. She's so sensitive and psycho. So here's the thing. I want to get to the culmination of all of this. <clears throat> what happened is, on Twitter, I posted under basically every tweet that she put up, every reply that she made, something detracting from her, with or without various memes. The whole point of this was to do, to actually do, what she claimed she was doing to Styx and his audience. That is, to troll them, to trigger them, and then point and go, ha ha, you got triggered. But that's the thing. Unlike Styx and his audience who basically were like, ha, you're funny. God, you are a sad, pathetic human. Carlin is like, oh yeah, you, you, oh, you disagreed with me? Blocked. You disagreed with me? Blocked. Ah. Uh, Oh, uh, the, yeah, these people are crazy. All these people are crazy. They're all crazy. Uh, Styx's audience is out to get me. Everybody's out to get me. Carlin, the art of triggering, who will teach you to trigger others without becoming triggered yourself, was very easily triggered in less than a day just by somebody else latching on and giving her as good as she thought she was giving other people. By giving her what she was virtue signaling Woo! I'm better than sticks, and here's why. Here's an essay on why. Here's a three-hour fucking stream on why. Oh, and I'm gonna cut a big chunk out of that stream and make it another video later, too. Just to milk it a little bit more. Oh, by the way, Carlin, guess what? You didn't actually block me. You blocked one account, but I have multiple accounts, so... Uh. But here's the thing. Unlike you, <coughs> Carlin Borisenko, candidate for New Hampshire governor, psychopath, Unlike you, I don't have time to spend my entire life going after one person and making a big deal out of it so that I can virtue signal to everybody how fucking amazing I am. See, I'm done with you. I have one more edited video that I'm going to make about you and about how pathetic you are and how you had to tap out because you are a giant pussy by comparison. You claim that you're this great, virtuous person, but you really just tap out the second that you have any kind of feedback that won't go away? Yeah, I'm done with that. I have one more video for you. That's it. After that, I'm not looking at you anymore. I'm not wasting my second account or third account or fourth account on you. You're a lol cow. You're pathetic. Nobody should let you get anywhere near political power. Holy shit, that is a scary thought. You being in political power, especially in the most powerful position in an entire state, that is a terrifying prospect. But you know what? I don't live in New Hampshire. Thank fucking God. If, if this is the kind of stuff that comes up as your candidates for governor, holy shit, I don't want to be anywhere near the place. Live free or die my ass. This woman is an authoritarian psycho with an iron fist. What the fuck are you people doing in New Hampshire? What is going on there? You know what? It's bad enough that your beaches are cold as shit. Yes, I've been there. But damn, Carlin Borisenko, the psycho, this is the, the best the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire can put forward. Something is rotten in Liberty Land, I'll tell you what. But like I said, I don't live there. I don't have that much invested in all this. But I do like to see someone who's trying to usurp power and become basically a little miniature tyrant and do this iron fist thing in her chat, obsess over people online, not obtain that power. People like that do not belong in positions of power. Let her have her shitty internet podium all day long. That's totally fine by me. Honestly, couldn't give a shit. I haven't paid attention to her in two years. But you know what? When I found out she was candidate for governor, and on top of that, that she's even more psycho than she was whenever she yelled at me in 2020? Yeah. Yeah, I got something to say about that. I think that's a problem. I think that's the opposite kind of change we need in this country. She's a social justice lunatic in libertarian clothing. She pretends to be right-wing. She's not right-wing. She's not even middle. She is a leftist. But she's a leftist that's also very good at lying and cloaking her true intentions and behaviors. Well, okay, I'm sorry. She's not that good at cloaking her true intentions and behaviors. The problem is more that you people need to pay attention. As, uh, I don't know who says it exactly, but as I have seen especially some feminists on the internet say, if someone tells you and shows you who they are, believe them. Carlin's cuckoo. Go see for yourself if you don't believe it. 
Don't let her become a governor. Thanks for watching. I promise, edited videos later. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for your support. Have a great one.